A common key aspect in all 3D animations is the camera movement, but it is either requires advanced knowledge to produce good capturing to the model you need to present, or you stick with the basics since a lot of us don't pay attention much to the camera in Blender, so how to mix between those two, and is Blender really poor with its default cameras? So let's say we have animation to present, like this dancing fella, and we wanna get a cool output of it, still keeping a still camera while the dude dancing might be boring and the other thing once you go to the camera tab you see it's only one object there one camera and to be honest it is a bit poor in settings comparing to other softwares however as always blender tend to hide cool stuff in the default plugins so if we head to the add-on section and look for cameras there is an add-on called camera rigs enable it to unlock the upgraded camera menu Nice. We will show the dolly type in this short video and the other two are just for you to experiment with. Upon adding the dolly camera type, you will see that it's already rigged and by hitting tab you can see the handles. The dolly camera have many parts and they stick together, so you can hit control plus the tab key to modify them each one alone. And that's the beauty of this camera. With this one we can animate the camera movement easily around the object while freely keeping or changing the focus on any part we need, so let us see how we can do a simple cool animation with this one. First I will lock all the camera parts again and move it to the back a bit, then we can reopen it to make the animation. By moving the focus point or the camera handle part we can generate a simple animation along the timeline we have. I will split the work area vertically to easily control the handles from camera to target, then we can expand the timeline area, hit the I key on both the camera and the target to add a keyframe, this is the only one we will add, the others will be generated with the auto keying once we press the record button. Now we can go through the timeline at any point and move the camera or the target and that will generate a keyframe where we stand. Then we can play the animation to see how this looks from one key to another. After that we go through the timeline again and repeat the process by moving the camera, the target or any part of the dolly camera to smoothly continue the animation, keep in mind all those keys can be edit or customize at any point on the timeline, with this process, you can easily make the animation around characters cars or even interior designs with smooth camera movement and it won't take 5 minutes at max, so that's it, hope this tip can left your work to a new level, and see you guys next time, stay sharp, goodbye.